All right, we are looking at the female reproductive system. Um, we're gonna do external anatomy. Um, towards the back, you can see the spinal cord and the sacrum and the coccyx. So this is the rectum. We have our uterus, which is here, and then we have our urinary bladder. This would be our pubic um, symphysis. And then this right here is your mons pubis. Now, if we were looking at the structure, this would be the labia um, majora, and then uh, labia means lip, and then the labia minora. Now, um, when you look at the top, you can see that the uterus is going to be anchored by the round ligament, so it travels anteriorly. And then coming off of the uterus, you have your fallopian tube, and then the fimbriae, the finger-like projections that sit on top of the ovary. Now, connecting the ovary to the uterus is the ovarian ligament. The ovarian ligament goes from the ovary to the uterus. Um, this again is the fallopian tube and the fimbriae. Um, out here you have your broad ligament and then this is your round ligament. So we're gonna open it up and do the internal anatomy. When you open up your um, model, again, this is the rectum. Um, when you go to the rectum, it's straight, and then the anal ca canal. Um, I just want to note on here that you do have an internal and external anal sphincters um, that we discussed in digestive system. So you have your rectum and anal canal. You have your uterus, which is here. Um, this right here is your vagina. You have your labia minora and your labia majora. Your urinary bladder. Your urinary bladder is going, um, coming from the urinary bladder is the urethra, your pubic symphysis, and your mons pubis. Now the erectile tissue in the female is number six, um, which is the clitoris. So when we talk about the um, vagina, the vagina does open up. Um, the structures in front of and behind the uterus is going to be known as the fornix. And then when we talk about the uterus, the opening of the uterus, which is right here, is called the cervix. So um, talking about the uterus just a little bit, it does have three layers. Um, when we talk about the inside, the inside connective tissue would be called the endometrium. The muscle surrounding or in the middle layer is the myometrium. And then basically you have the outer layer, which is, I believe, the epimetrium. Um, so when we talk about the female sexual system, um, your eggs or your ovum are going to be produced in the ovary, and then they are picked up by the fimbriae of the fallopian tube. They travel to the fallopian tube, and this is where they sit to wait to be fertilized. Um, eggs are going to sit here. Um, when we talk about the female, the urinary bladder um, does have a very short urethra compared to the male. Um, it's very close to the anus, so this is one of the reasons why it's short and close to the anus is a reason why females are more prone to getting bacterial infections. Um, only urine exits the urethra. Um, the vagina is going to be the passageway for um, basically your menstrual cycle when you're sloughing off the inner portion. So during your period, all menstrual flow throws through the vagina, but the vagina uh, does also receive the penis during intercourse. Um, and then your rectum is going to be for feces during defecation.